Last week, we did a bit of paddle boarding, a bit of eating, a bit of drinking, and a lot of sailing. We checked out of Sarande in Albania and planned a possible overnight passage all the way to Montenegro. However, the wind completely died off, so we turned into Porto Palermo up the coast of Albania for the night before we would continue our voyage. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. So, we are moving on already. We spent one night on the dock here. Yeah, so we're going to head um, further north. Hopefully we'll get to bar tonight but we're not 100% sure we'll just see how we're traveling it's a it's a big journey it's, a, it's probably still another 20 hours from here but we've got some good winds coming from the south so should hopefully take us a long way Janae's just doing the dishes like a good girl my, my job, job. <laughs> jinx so we are cruising at the moment we've got a we've got nine ten knots of wind and we're going wing on wing at the moment not so well because we don't have a spinnaker pole out we're supposed to get about 20 25 knots of wind when we come past the point where Vlores is um, so we're not too far away from that so we might have to reef in a couple of sails when that happens but we've got this big stuff off storm coming over here and we've seen a few lightning strikes and it's basically heading the same direction as you know we're going to end up at so we're a bit worried about that we might have to i don't know need to slow down or speed up but yeah we, we keep hearing thunder from it so it's definitely not a good sign i think we've decided to take the head towel in and just cruise and let it go past because I don't know if it's going to hang around for a while even if it passes in front it might kind of stick around in front so here we go we're flapping all over the place now anyway bit nerve-wracking it looks like it's going to pass in front of us but we don't know how big it actually is but we've got the sides up it's just started to rain pulled the fishing rod in <laughs> <laughs> Janae's clumsy as ever because we're getting close to Croatia. <laughs> Funny story that. We'll tell you later, we'll keep you up to date. But yeah, we've we've taken the head sail in just to slow us down a bit. I can't get this on. Yeah, it's hard that one. Look at your hand. decided that we're going to sail out there where it's blue skies and just wait for this to pass instead of going right into it so we'll head out there towards Greece slash Italy yeah, we're and then come back in we're actually heading straight for Italy now should we go get a pizza <laughs> that'd be nice yeah we're gonna put the heady back out it looks like it's just past us we're on the cusp of it and we're gonna head out a little bit further towards Italy and then we're going to come back in. It should be like a downwind sail from there on. Travelling along, it is now almost 1.30. We just made our lunch quickly and then we got a radio call from our friends saying be careful where you guys are. The storm's heading your way and they just got a really random out of nowhere gust of 25 knots so they weren't expecting it to have the full main up and everything. So yeah, we can just see them. They've had a bit of torrential rain back there but they're pretty much right in the thick of that storm. Um, and it looks like they're heading towards Italy to kind of get away from it. So. 
We took our closing shirt down just in case. Yeah. Because 25 knots, that would just blow it out, eh? Yeah, we'd probably split it in half. So now we're just sailing with the head sail. No spinning pole. Yeah, we got the side pieces up because we keep getting kind of scattered rain. But yeah, it's very sporadic. It's like there's just like several kind of rain clouds slash thunderstorms in all different areas. So I'm sure we'll go through a couple more today. The wind is supposed to pick up to 25 knots around this bend here. Mm. So that'll be fun. Woo! A little bit of thunder. Where are they? Uh, over here. All right, it's now quarter past two and the wind's picking up. So we're getting between 17 to 20 knots. Show you what it looks like. Got a head sail out. And doing about 5.7 knots, 5.8, six knots. Not bad. Wind's picked up beautifully now. Downwind, head sail up. Going j j pretty slow still, 6.3. And it's getting quite rolly out here now. Never shows up on camera, does it? See how rolly it is? Holy shit. The cloud over that mountain is like so weird. So that's like all land there and the clouds just like chilling over the top of the entire land. Very strange. We just got the main back up and I think we're about to get the head sail back out. This thing looks bloody wild in front of us right now. I hope there's no thunder involved with it. Otherwise it's not going to be fun, but yeah. It's really, really low clouds. It nearly looks like a surf break on top of us. We're getting quite a bit of swell now too. If you can see it or not, never shows up on the camera. I already tried to film this, but bloody GoPro is playing up, it's driving me nuts. Anyway, um, it's now just after six o'clock. We're cruising along at about six knots. We picked up wind speed, we've got about 15 knots of wind. Um, we had a bit of a dead patch along this island here, so for about an hour we were just floating. So we ended up turning the motor on. Now that we've got past the island, um, we got a bit of a, about a 15 knot gust, but we had full sails out, so we got pulled sideways a little bit. Oh yeah, we had a cold, <laughs> we had a massive cold front come through. So it was coming this way, and we had wind coming from the south, and then all of a sudden the wind just changed and came straight from the north. So yeah. we had the motor a little bit through that, and now it, it's the crazy. Wind complete direction now. Now it's going from the east. Yeah, it's doing all over, all things all over the place. But look, I've got like, winter clothes on. Yeah, it's it's literally changed. Like as soon as that cold front hit, it changed like 10, 10 degrees, I reckon. Yeah, it's actually quite cool. Still getting thunder. Our friends are about six nautical miles away by the looks of it, about an hour. So they might catch up to us, but we're gaining pretty good speed now, so we'll see how we go. I don't reckon they'd be reefed in like us. Probably not. I think it's a little bit crazier. We try and play it a little bit little bit more safe with the sails anyway. I think they played a little bit more safe with time to leave. Like they probably wouldn't have chosen to leave when there's thunderstorms and stuff about, but uh, anyway. And I, I'm losing my voice. But we've all got a bit of a sore throat, but I did test before just to make sure and I haven't got COVID. But I'm, I need to stop talking because I'm literally losing my voice. Great. <laughs> Looks pretty damn scary. 
We've just been talking to our friends. They're a fair bit behind us, so they might cop this storm real bad, so. I think we will too. Yeah. So we're just gonna see where it's heading. We're gonna keep traveling for the next few hours and then they might end up turning into a bay, um, but they've still got to get there. So they've still got a few hours ahead of them. So I guess we'll see where this storm kind of goes to. Looks pretty big on the radar. Oh, this. Okay, we're literally in the eye of a thunderstorm right now. Um, we can see thunder strikes all around us. We've just slowed the boat down to try and let it pass us, but yeah, you, can you hear the thunder? now but there's pretty much nothing we can do we kind of just have to ride it out no matter which way we turn we're going to be stuck in it so we're just hoping it passes quickly and we don't get struck by lightning it is like torrential oh my god Yeah, copping lightning and, and rain all around us. It's getting pretty scary. Um, so, I don't know, we just feel like if we get close to land, at least it's hopefully not gonna strike the boat. Um, the, the wind's fine, there's not much wind. There's like five to 10 knots of wind, but yeah, this lightning's bloody scary, so. I think that the right front in front of us, I hope, like behind us behind now. Behind us, We've yeah. Turned around. Yeah. Poor little moth just flew in here. Oh, we're actually good now. It's getting water dripped all over me, are you kidding? There was just lightning strikes yeah, in front of us. It's that way now. Look, look this way. Yeah. Clearing up. The rain's starting to stop. This little moth just flew in here and it was going all over the place and it's found a little spot under our bimini. Would have died if it was out there. Nowhere to go. So yeah, our bimini's not holding up too well now. It's starting to drip through. We really need a new bimini. Jason uh, fell on this part today and has broken it all along here. So we've got this tied on. This, the entire thing's like falling apart, but anyway, we can't really afford to get a new bimini at this point, so we've got to deal with it. This side's tied, because the zip's broken. <laughs> Just the, the whole thing. It's sagging. Yeah, so, it's yeah. leaking. Yeah. Anyway. I feel like we should never say that we're doing an overnight passage, because every single time, we've probably said it five times now, we never do it because the weather gets hairy but I think this is probably the hairiest it's got. Not the smell of the wind, but the rain and the lightning. Heaps of lightning. Yeah, a lot of lightning. It's all around us. And we're about to pop it again. We're going in, like, right into it again. Yeah. At least we're gonna be tucked in close to land. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we got about two hours to get to where we're going. So, fingers crossed. But we will get closer to an island before that, so hopefully just having that land near us will feel a little bit safer. 
from the lightning strikes. Cool. Looks like we're coming up to Hawaii or something. It's literally just that. Yeah. <laughs> and I swear it's like on our boat. Yeah, but it'll just keep moving because it's just like a reflection of light. Yeah. Um, we'll see a lightning strike and that'll just be <laughs> Sunshine over here. It's a weird body afternoon or night, I should say. 7:30. Yeah. All right, we've just anchored. We have a low battery on the GoPro, so I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, I'm not sure if we filled you in a crazy amount, but we end up stopping in an anchorage near Flores last night because the thunderstorms just got mental. Hey, hun. Thunderstorms were wild, and we had them all night, and we've got even more thunderstorms coming today. So we're actually gonna go into Flores. We're gonna um, radio into the Harbour Master, and hopefully we get approved. We're gonna say we're not leaving the boat. We're just waiting out these thunderstorms. And then hopefully we leave tomorrow about 11 o'clock. The winds uh, will be tacking, it's going to be upwind. Um, but it's the only time we can really leave. It's going to be strong winds too. It's probably going to be about 25, 30 knots. But if we leave it any later, it's going to get stronger. You know what I mean? But yeah, we're going to have a race now. They're, they're just getting their sail up. So we're just going to sail off anchor and see who wins. We've got no wind at the moment, so it's going to be um, a bit challenging, but it's gonna be fun at the same time. We've got all day anyway, so we may as well sail there. So Janae, I need you Mate, to, I'm editing. to stop editing and give me a hand for five minutes. Uh, typical. By the way, does everyone like Jason's get up? He's wearing a play suit. <laughs> Don't play me out hard. Also, do you like my man voice? We've all got sore throats and I'm losing my voice and I sound even more like a man than I already do. All right, let's get these sails going. Oh, they're already up. They're oh. cheating. It's gonna, it's gonna be like that sail we did the other day where it just took us like two hours just to get out. Great. I'll be down here while you do your thing on your own then. We got them on the head start. Just, just got them on the head start. Well, that got full on pretty quickly. Fucking What was the gust? Did you look? Uh, 25 knots. 25 knots and we had full, 20 right now. full sails out. It's raining. We're bloody sideways. Oh my God. We are like, we're pretty leaned over. So we've got them at the moment. They've just briefed their main, briefed their head sail, and we left our main fully out because we're wild and just briefed our head sail. So they've taken a bit of time just to do that. So I don't think they're going to catch us. We've only got 50 minutes left. We're flying. What are we doing? 6.7 at the moment. We've reached 7.4. I'm not going to lie, they've made a few tactical errors this sail. Um, they've reefed their main, they've put it back up, so they've had to steer back into the wind to put it up. And they're falling further and further behind. We've got about half an hour to go, they might catch us. Because they are better sailors than us. <laughs> oh, we need to tighten that up a bit more, hun. Do you want to tighten that up? So it's now 12 o'clock in the day and we're just on our way to Vlora. Um, another town in Sarande. Normally you'd have to check in here. Um, all the main ports you have to check into separately. But we've actually checked out of the country and we don't really want to have to pay an agent to check back in. Um, so yeah, we're going in here to take cover from some weather and we're just going to ring the Harbour Master um, on the VHF and just basically say we need to take cover from some weather. Do you give us permission to anchor in the bay until it passes? So. Hopefully there's no issues there and we can just, we'll just stay on the boat and get stuff done on the boat, edit our episodes and all of that. 
and yes we'll just figure out when we're gonna leave keep checking the weather also it has just died down we're doing about five and a half knots um but we're getting about 15 knots of wind and we got up to eight knot speed, which is crazy. That doesn't happen very often. You know what it is? It's because it's so flat here because land's just there. So. Yeah. It's gusting off the land, do you reckon? Yeah, it's gusting off the land. It's Scooping kind of... down those mountains over there. But it's calm right down. So our friends are behind us. Don't think they're going to catch us. We've only got like 20 or so minutes to go. So we're nearly there. Short sail today, which is nice because I'm tired. All right, we're getting a few more gusts again. Doesn't feel so hectic this time. We're at the seven knot club. Seven knots, woohoo! Full main and full Genoa up. If it goes any more than this, we'll just make that head sail in a little bit. Okay. Harbour Master Vlora, Harbour Master Vlora, Harbour Master Vlora. This is sailing vessel Escapade, over. Yes, uh, We have checked out of Sarande and are on our way to Montenegro. We need to anchor in the bay here to wait out some bad weather. Uh, we will stay on the boat and won't come ashore. Do we have permission to do so? Great, thank you so much, over. Oh good! Just to check the update, we did win. Unlucky second just there. Coming in hot. We're already anchored. So we, we beat them by a mile in the end. I don't know how they lost by that much. They got the same boat as us. Maybe we're just better sailors. No, I know they're much better than us. How does second place feel? How does second place feel? <laughs> this is all over YouTube. Can you deal with that? 